if you're watching me for the first time, I'm Alina. Hi! If not, thanks for having faith in me and coming back to my channel. This video. Hmm. Now, this video has been requested <clears throat> more than anything. The reach that I've gone only because of this one request is surprising. It is my. Then again, I am not a professional makeup artist. Y'all have requested, I'm getting it to y'all. Like, your wish, my command. I'm just delivering what y'all have asked for. And um, even though I think I'm not that great, but y'all seem to really like it. So thank you for that. And of course, I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to cut the bullshit, stop the time pass and get in. But before like just starting with the makeup, a step that is more important than the actual makeup process is what you do before it, depending on various situations. First of all, always, no matter where you're going, cleanse your face, wash it properly with whatever face wash you use. It should be dirt free, every everything free, just, just free of freaking skin, bro. Just wash it, wash it before applying anything on your face. For me, uh, so I sometimes apply moisturizer. I don't sometimes, if my skin feels dry, uh, I apply it if it just feels really oily because my skin is like sometimes it's oily sometimes it's dry so depending on what the situation of my skin is then comes sunscreen if you're stepping out of your house in daytime why are you not wearing sunscreen basically wear sunscreen as of now it's 9 p.m i'm not going anywhere really i'm just shooting a video so i'm not going to be wearing sunscreen also something very very important it's not as common as sunscreen or moisturizer but it's really so important it's toner and niacinamide serum i didn't know what i was missing out on until i actually started using it and you have to also be really careful while you are going and trying out new products of course you really should try new products you might like it could be the best decision of your life but you also have to be really really careful like for me i had been hearing a lot about toner and niacinamide serum and i really wanted to try it but also i was really scared because i have super super sensitive skin and like especially because they are like really strong products like the ingredients are like quite strong usually in most cases so i was just really scared but i'm smart i'm really smart so i went in with the safest option and i chose Ayurvedic products. That's right, toner and niacinamide serum, but make it Ayurvedic. So the niacinamide face toner and serum that I use are from this company called the Ayurveda Company, which is known as TAC. And this is India's first science-backed Ayurvedic brand. So the toner and serum are like a two-step thing, which I'm going to show you right now. So this is the face toner from the Ayurveda Company that I use. And um it's in the name like what toners do um they basically just tone your face like with they help a lot with the fine lines and the expression lines and also just you know like make your skin just look good it just makes your skin look like really good and glowy and dude i apply these two and i just feel like fancy the ingredients in this toner it's made of trifala and yashti madhu which are basically ayurvedic zinc and with also 10 percent niacinamide so what this basically does is it helps you with your left behind acne spots or just blemishes or any imperfections that you have which are also perfect honestly but like if you do want to go and like just smoothen it out this is amazing and like i really feel like um toners and serums should be cultivated more so i'm just gonna go ahead and a few sprays is enough and wait for it to dry which will take like around two minutes so the next product is the Ayurveda Company Face Serum which is supposed to be put right after toner and um, this absorbs really quickly so make sure like you take basically take two drops, two to three drops in your hands 
rub it put it on your face nicely i'm going to do it and show you right now um this is what the ayurveda company face serum looks like make sure you take two to three drops in your palm not much rub it in your hands and quickly just try and put it all over your face make sure you massage it um outwards and upwards it's literally already absorbed this smells so good this face smells so good things that i like about these products first thing is that they're natural which means no tension of like the chemicals that they put in these products like which are a lot so that's very good for me for my me and my sensitive ass skin and the second thing is that they're vegan both of these products are water based they absorb really quickly they are non comedogenic and silicone and mineral free 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 Um, more about what toners and serum um help with with your face are like obviously I mentioned acne spots um the blemishes the expression lines and it also really gives you like tight glowy and just a good complexion just a better complexion like it just gives you a different glow and for best results um apply it every day coming back to makeups. Now the actual makeup begins. So I'm going to start with primer. So this is the primer that I'll be using. I'm going to like write all of the product names and stuff in like either here or in the description. After you apply primer, the quality of like all the products, all the makeup products on your face, they just become like a lot a lot better. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. foundations are overrated i don't use foundations i only use concealers the reason behind it is that first of all foundation like layer on layer concealer is needed like you just can't without concealer at least for me so concealer uske upar foundation uske upar this and i don't know what not and i don't want my face to look so cakey it's just foundation but better if i only apply it on in the areas that i feel are imperfect on my skin for example um my under eyes and i have a few pigmentations over here on the side of my face and a little bit over here so that's the only place that i apply and if in case i have like a few marks like i have right now my um pimple marks that i had two days ago um so i'm just going to apply a little there so i'm going to take my pinky little finger and put it here a little over here a lot over here a lot over here I'm also just to make it clear this is not my everyday makeup look i do not apply so much makeup every day this is my hey i'm going out look and hey i want to look good for someone or hey i might just click pictures look first concealer step done see how i just didn't need foundation cuz why now my second concealer step would be only my under eyes because my under eyes need more saving than anyone in this freaking world because of my beautiful genetically handed over to me eye bags now we are going in with a little setting powder just to keep it in place and make your base smooth off really little and put it here first wherever i've put like a good amount of concealer i am just going to slightly blend this powder in those areas now blush now when it comes to blush i have two steps always two step verification is very important if you want to keep your makeup nice and intact in your face so first to just keep it inside my pores like in in my pores and just like let it stay i first use this l18 color pops 
thing that's probably expired and four years old but it hasn't really ruined my skin so i'm just gonna continue using it a little on my nose too just to look a little cute now blend it blend it blend it make sure you go like a little towards your this area which usually has natural blush to just like catfish more naturally because yeah bro you gotta you gotta fool him you really gotta catfish the world if you want to do it like just do it nicely make sure you take it from here till here like don't put it over here or something like that just so make sure everything on your face goes like that so now that i've blended this um i am going in with powder brush so that even if the powder brush fades over a couple of hours ahead the blush the lipstick blush is still there it's not these are two shades but i'm just gonna yeah a lot of people have a problem with me applying so much of blush like my mom who has called me a monkey's ass now we are going in with contouring um this is like almost broken and about to die and i don't even remember the brand name of it but i'll let you all know i try my best to let you all know so i'm just gonna dab a little because this is too dark just a little <laughs> over here can you see a little contour effect of it it's not too much not too less and now i'm just gonna go and hide the hell out of that double chin and give that sharp jawline illusion to people because catfish me not come here not too much because then it looks it actually looks really fake so dab a little here dab a little to this side of my nose and just blend it i don't want it to look too harsh because i honestly don't know how to do it properly <laughs> So I'm not gonna take a chance. Just a little on the foreheads. It's my hair's coming in the middle. It's disgusting, but it's so. I'm gonna go in with my brows right now. Um, I would really love to tell you all this brand name. It's Zoda or something, but y'all don't get it here. And I've tried searching it on the internet. This is also like I don't know, two years old. Some brow pencil picked up from some store in thailand for the brows you have to be really careful if your brows are already very very thick and hairy not thick but like extremely hairy and with thick hair um i suggest you be really careful because i've also been called a genie by my mom back when i used to do my brows really badly which literally looked like i had i used to color them with kajal or something so please be very careful okay, so i'm not filling it filling it in i'm more of just um making the outlines of it more sharp so it looks neater i'm just making it more neat okay make sure you make a nice line down and then you just kind of brush it towards to the up so it looks more natural and then just go and draw your lines bro this is a fuck i mean a freaking <laughs> um graph paper just think of it as a graph paper and draw your lines that that sounds so wrong in so many ways i'm sorry okay perfect i have a nice long fake brow bro Now I'm gonna go on with this cute tiny brush and just um, brush through it so that the color blends in nicely. And now mm, my favorite time, mascara time. Make sure you go really deep, but not it now also that it literally plucks your lashes out. Yeah, and it's nice and gold. Oh, how pretty it looks! And I also wanted to tell you all a little something as your internet bestie or friend or older sister or younger sister. Just listen. Here right now, I have with me the Maybelline mascara, and I also have the Mac mascara. 
so a lot of people have a misconception um that even i used to have it honestly that the more expensive the product is the better it is which is the most bullshit misconception that you can have like ever this mac mascara here costed around 2.5k absolute shit respectfully on the other hand this maybelline mascara costs around 400 absolute freaking heaven this has been such a blessing in my life such a blessing in my life such a blessing in my life i'm going to keep saying it i will literally i i'm going to start worshiping this product because of how wonderful it is don't get me wrong mac also does have good products or any other like um brand more on the expensive side but i'm i use a lot of mac products myself but i'm just saying just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good while doing your makeup you have to try a lot of products like it's just a process of trial and error even i have tried many products and it just i just like keep improving like the more i try i feel like okay this is better than the product i'm using right now so i'm going to start using this um the mascara process of mine takes the most time out of any other process on my face because of how important i obviously think it is which is why i take more time than any other part of my face for this so just go slow and nice and do it like out you are going to have really weird expressions but uh, yeah no pain no gain i guess start with the base and kind of wiggle it like that jiggle it I don't know, and then go up and also try like shutting your eyes while you're doing it. I'm applying a very little amount down because then it just starts spreading eventually, and then you look like Monjelica. So we ain't trying to look like Monjelica. And also a hack: take it over here and just put it to the side like that, so it gives like your eye a really nice shape. um yeah just go to the sides um now to top it off a little to make it look even prettier i'm going to go in with the maybelline hyper core yeah i'm just going to go in with the tips like that and i don't know if you can see but um yeah um i also don't really use lipsticks i just use different combos of lip liners as my lipstick yeah like i just i have all my lip liners i just pick two three random shades depending on how light or dark i want my lips to be um i'm starting with more of a nude shade first you want to take it under your lips and then follow your natural line okay like that like how much ever you want to overlay and then come back and just follow your natural lip line make like a rough lining like that and then just fill it in i always like to finish it off with outlining with a darker shade of like the same thing like just a darker shade so this is like a really khatarnak brown shade i have to be really careful with it and i'm just going to go in with these areas and outline it a little we're almost done we are going in with the last step which is going to be the highlighter um, obviously cheekbones and make sure you go in the direction of your blush and contour i'm also going to take a little and put it on the ends of my brows like just a little not too much so my brows look a little lifted did i think i should get a brow lift only at this point i think i should just get a brow lift okay and to look awake and to make my eyes appear just bigger and more open i'm going to apply it on the waterline like the start of my waterline and a little in the middle we are finally done 
oh my god i can't believe this i've finally shot this video anyway um i really hope this was helpful i hope you all enjoyed it um i hope you all got to learn something from it like maybe just a little if you have watched it till here even if you've just watched it um thank you so much i'm really grateful for all the love and support that i'm getting make sure you do try it actually um please please try this look if you can and tag me it would make me really happy if i were to see you guys um recreate this look of mine and dm it to me if you want and i'm so excited for you to like try it out and let me know if you all did and yeah i hope you all enjoyed it for the tenth time, I'm asking this. Also, for the niacinamide face toner and serum from the Ayurveda company, India's first science-backed Ayurvedic brand, um, make sure you go get those products. They are as important as any other step. In fact, even more because it's for your skin, not just a top layer. And if you want to buy it, make sure you use my code Alina30 for a 30% discount. And I will be linking the products in my description. So make sure you check it out. Bye. I love you guys so much.